Pete Calhoun, Reliance Credit Union. Bit of a change to have you out of the studio and have an opportunity to speak a little bit more about what it is that you do. So for a couple of middle-aged radio announcers with retirement looming in 15 or so years, what should we be considering about our financial futures? Oh, Janine, um, you know, fantastic, very, being very kind to Peter as middle-aged, I thought. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as looming for retirement, look, it's it really, we co- try and keep it fairly simple. Um, we look at budgeting, you know, if you've got a budget, trying to uh, make sure we spend less than than what we earn. Um, you know, we look at your, your overall situation. So if you've got mortgages, um, personal debts, we look at which ones we, we start to target there to pay off first. And then obviously have a look at putting away money for the future. Not being the fun police, but we need to make sure that we live for today as well. If, um, say, hypothetically, as a younger person, I might have invested more heavily in cars, travel, and good times than was wise. and thoughts of superannuations and savings perhaps weren't so great. Uh, what, are there, is there anything I can be doing now in my middle age, late 40s, to really try and help boost a superannuation or retirement income? The bottom line is that you're allowed to, as a person under the age of 50 this year, um, and we know you're well under 50, Pete, is that, um, that you're allowed to put $30,000 or forego um, salary of $30,000 and put that into superannuation. That straight away gives you, um, depending on your income, a fairly substantial tax benefit. Um, so we, we encourage that. Um, and then for people over 50, they've got this year to put 35 in. Pete, how do you work out how much you're going to need to retire on comfortably? Is there a formula that you use with people when they come in? I try to encourage people to save as much as they possibly can because it's always better to save as, at, at maximum level um, because if we start saying to people, oh, you, you know, you're behind, you're well behind, they tend to, in lots of things, give up. So, and in most cases, people who are in their 55s and 60s at the moment, I know you're nowhere near that, right, they have, they have issues because superannuation was only just something that came in compulsory in 1992. Um, the younger ones um, will benefit from that, but that will take some time for that to come through. But basically, normally need about 60% of their wages to live on, um, and that's assuming that their mortgage is paid off. Um, so if you're earning um, 50,000 now, you know, you'll be able to retire on probably 30,000. We can do formulas um, and we can show people if they save this amount of money and this is, we make assumption, these are the interest rates that you, you earn on your funds, this is what you'll end up with. But again, we try to target what we can make available and, 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 and work it out from there.